Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary Grigsby's War in the East. Let's continue where we left off, and I have a bit of uh, reorganization to do here, but that's about it, I think. Um, first of all, let's take a look at this. So the super heavy howitzer guys, let's send that to the 50th. Over here, pretty sure to end this turn here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you under the 50th. I'm gonna switch these guys up a bit so things make a little bit more sense. And then we have the 54th, which is going to take you. So then the 54th is now only in that area. The 38th is down here. 28th. Right. It's the first core. Let's put you under it. I want these four under the first core, and then I have the 28th and 26th. That both have six. But then there's a unit there under the first core, which should be under the 26th. This one. And there's a unit here under the 50th that should also be changed up. That's the second. This is Latvian. Let's put them under the 28th. And now none of the course is overburdened except for the army as it is. That's it though. Alright, so that's looking good, that army. As far as that's even possible, let's go to the 16th. Let's get the 10th core in here. I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have the ability to take out a core here. Because the... 30th, they also don't have any support units. Fritter Pico is actually reasonable. Um, but what I will do is the following. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's move the 54th into Colm. Or 59th it is. Put you under the 59th. Put you under the 59th. And then put the security under the 10th. Uh, I think, yeah. You have 8. And you have 8. Even though these are not connected, they will next turn. And the other units are... Well, established. Um, I will take a look at the refit for the units that are on. But what this does is it does clear the 30th core. And I will 
probably have to send that somewhere else. I will take a look as to where. Second core has 19, so I, I guess these guys are gonna go up because they are still gonna go into this army. Um, I should just walk them. Actually, gonna put this at normal on a two. It's always a bit disappointing of a unit. It's unable to do stuff like that. Um, that's fine. So the thirtieth is gonna move up, take some units there, so that these units will at least not be overburdened. Of course, sixteenth army will still be overburdened. Um, but then that by itself, uh, it means I can shuffle around some stuff too. This is also, um, yeah, so that they will not be overburdened there. The second loop of the field core is currently under army group level. But army group center itself is overburdened too, and to be honest, that's why I would rather put these guys under OKH as it is, which will relieve a little bit of pressure from the armor group center level. Um. Hmm. Let's move them on top. They both need to refit. I was gonna take a look at that later, but let's just have that now. All right, Ninth Army reorganization. First of all, Ninth Army is severely overburdened, even as an assault army. So I have the second Luftwaffe field division move under okay h command that's fine they're just there for holding anyway means they have two less now there is the this panzer core has 10 out of 10 um I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, ideally placed. Next, we have the 41st Panzer Corps. Also has 10 out of 10. You cannot move further back. One, two, three, four, five. So in a way, ideally placed. There is one infantry under the 28th. Right now this is 23rd, and then this one is 28th. Okay, so having both these and these is not handy. If I have the 23rd, and they'll take that. 
and then give this one to the 27th, then I can move the 27th up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, now this is fine. I can always move these up later. They're in reasonable states. Yeah. That, that also allows me to keep the headquarters there. All right, next. The situation here. Mm -hmm. Let's move these back. There were three though, so it's kind of weird that they changed the two on that, but okay. I also don't really like this state that they are in, but mm. Let's move and the Think interesting. Thing here is uh, they cannot move up like that. Pretty stranger than that, I'd say. These guys ain't moving. Let's so re-put a depot at Zukinishki. I'm not completely convinced that I want to put a depot at Msensk at the moment.
am I even doing this? Well, they didn't attack last time. Maybe they'll uh, grace me with uh, not attacking this time either. They do seem to be willing to put up a solid front line there now, though. Um. Yeah, so... That does suck. I need to put that core into Zizdra, that also will work wonders on the depot there. And then let's get that HQ there. I have the rail units. Question is, what do I want to do with it? An interesting question to say the least. Um, I'll keep 18th Panzer in that position. Putting a part in Maloyaroslavets or Maloyaroslavets, yeah, exactly. It's just asking for it to be killed or destroyed or routed or anything. There. Okay, third panzer army, Sch Rudolf Schmidt, okay, nine and nine, that's bad but I cannot reorganize that through any means. These are currently under the army level. Um, which of these? Five admin, five three. Five admin, four two. Hmm. At this point, I do want those HQs as far away from the front line as possible. Mm, okay, so the 29th core. This is what I have there, and seventeenth. Uh, uh, I guess this is under the Italian army, which I mean, it, that's technically better than not being under an army at all and since the Italian army is not overburdened I might as well just 
keep them like that. I would not have ever thought that I would say something like that. These guys are in good enough health that I'm willing to send them back over here to guard that area. Um, let's get these guys down there. I don't think these are very powerful, but it's still a problem to be recognized. Currently, the 4th Romanian Corps has some artillery and some pioneers that... Completely honest, I would rather... Yeah. Okay, that that kind of sucks, but uh, I guess I kind of need to do it like that. Means I can get the third Romanian army HQ back in here as close to these units as possible into Tatsinskaya at least it's guarded by the 21st Luftwaffe field division army group Don is uh, let's actually take a look because this is 757 and Army Group Dawn is an 888. So I'd rather have things in our Army Group Dawn than our Army Group B. If I can switch it up, I will. But it doesn't seem to be the case. What do I have on Army Group Dawn anyway? Currently, the third Romanian army. And Army Group A is about as good, but what do you have? First band, so 6th, 17th, and 4th Romanian. They're not overburdened. Next turn I can put those Italians and Hungarian armies. And then as for Army Group B, I can even... They currently have 4th Panzer? Really? Well, it seems like 4th Panzer is gonna come under new management since managing is uh, better. I also have a lot of flak that I can dish out. And ideally I will do so. Where is the third answer core? Hello? Hello? Th third? There's the fourth core. Where is it? Here, third panzer. Hmm. Well, let's divide the flak. I I cannot send any further further up. Okay, never mind. Um. Hmm. I, okay, like th this is obviously not looking too hot here. First, fourteenth bouncer is there in reserve. The I have no other units 
they need to stay there to well they could also reorganize or basically protect that But it would mean I would lose the zone of control here. Um, Alright, let's actually take a look. This guy is pretty bad. I'm just switching up generals here. So, Eugen Ott, not good. 6 infantry, 3 mech, and he has low admin. I'll be looking at good admin score to ideally low mech. Because then, um, or at least like mech five or something like this, if they have a good admin score, which is seven, is amongst the best. Let's just go here for a seven and let's see, seven, 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 seven and four. Wait, uh, if I go for a 6 admin, that's fine. Ulrich. No, I guess high mech. Hans Kreisling. Also has pretty good morale and initiative. So I'll put him there. And I think... These are pretty good. Because otherwise they'd be overburdened. And obviously the Helmut Felmy is bad, but it's the Felmy core, so. Not changing that for the moment. Friedrich Kirchner. I don't have the AP to switch him up. I guess also I should probably leave those 11 then. Uh, there's no reason to really fit these. You're good. Just um, taking a look at all of these. I don't think I need to get a super depot there but getting additional supplies in Tatsinskaya or Milarovo is most likely not a bad idea Let's get him out there. Again, overburdening the rail system to the max. I had another rail unit here. That cannot fix any rail as of yet. 
There's no rail there to be fixed. There's a rail that, that could work from here to Lichkovo. But that does not seem to be a super great idea. I don't think I had any rail unit up here, nor would I want one there. Which is, okay, I'll, um, I'll just leave it there for now. Cause even though I would eventually want to rebuild at least this part here, and reconnect that. And eventually hopefully also get, um, is there, yeah, the, there's a rail line running south here up to Kaluga that I would not mind getting. All right, there we go. No. Reinforcements of any sort. Let's quickly take a look at uh, all of these. So in Western Europe, I have a mixed artillery unit, 0.7. I'm missing nothing, at least on the ground. Norway, 105, but I cannot move anything. Finland, 103. How much could I take? 8.4 for the moment. If I take out an infantry division, it takes four turns, which is super long. In the reserve, I have the 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion with 20 Tigers. I'll transfer those to the map. In the Soviet Union garrison, we have 103, so that's good. North Africa has 101. <clears throat> I did talk about um, some of these uh, actually uh, being disbanded. Did, and that it kind of sucks because technically you would think it would be possible to send them back. Not all of them are actually disbanded. Um, so at some point I'd want to try and get some of the units back over to Germany or onto the map or something like this. Like these guys. Um, I'm going to keep them in Italy or in North Africa for now. So they're at 101, but eventually well, I'll take out whatever I can, I suppose. Italy is 88 and Balkans 96. Not much to be done for now. All right. Mm, any oh, 
depots that need to be dealt with. I actually want to have this as a four being so close on the front. Four, four, four. Four, 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 three. That's good. Three, four, yeah. Or else a four, three, three, four. This should be four, two since it's supplying these units. Then I'll be turning this into a three. I actually want to have a depot at Ostrogosk at four as well. I'm still a bit disinclined to put another depot in here or here. The railroad is partially working still, no longer up here because they took that hex. It happens. Depot there, depot there. They did not cut these. That also makes it interesting because I can technically put a depot on Chern Cherniskov. just not good if they attack it I'll be in trouble just a little bit too much for my test once again dear lord have mercy on my soul oh man These enemy turns are pretty nerve-wracking, actually. Interestingly enough. Hmm. <laughs> One thing that I, I would like is if I can take these forces, it would at the very least also allow the 17th Army a decent retreat if these guys come in full force against... Uh, First, whatever is left of First Panzer, which is one core. Right. But this situation is very, very troublesome as the Soviets still have the strength to break through there. It's just no good. Just no good. Ideally, I'll keep Voronezh. I'm, I'm not too sure as to when the Soviets took Voronezh historically. I, mean, I, I would suppose in little, little Saturn or whatever that assault is going to be. They would take it, but it, yeah, I would have to take a look at the historical capture date for the Soviets. <laughs> it's interesting that we're even looking at that now. Here we go. Weird that they act as if there's nothing in there for now, like they retreated or something, or I cannot see it. They would never leave Kronstadt abandoned. That would be very weird and would leave these guys isolated, I think. Not actually sure. Okay. As long as they... Wow, that's a lot of loss of a thousand. Crap. 
318, huh? Well, they drew away quite a few Soviet units for a while. And they cut the rail line. I mean, it's a thousand troops, yeah. But they served their purpose. I think it was a thousand soldiers well spent, or something. Kinda on the edge about that one, but. Happy I kept that level three fort there in that attack. Means I'll probably retain it for now. Once again, it's this Soviet unit trying to do some sort of breakout towards the inside of the pocket. Uh. Now they're trying to smash through Demyansk. Not likely to succeed here. Another interesting attack. Really? I failed to roll. Hmm. Well, it's 33,000. I guess it does make some sense. Hmm. That's a serious push they got there. And one hundred and six thousand. Guess me holding there was not necessarily the best of ideas, but because they kicked him out, I guess I'll be able to retreat at least in an orderly fashion. For now. As long as those level three forts hold there, um, good for now. They seem to have accumulated a reasonable strike force. I'm lucky that there were no support units out there to help, but at least it again retained its level three fort status for the moment. Another breakout attempt. They lost a lot of men there. I expect to be able to liquidate that smaller pocket this turn. Hmm. 
fact that they're pushing me around there also suggests that I need to clear this pocket fast. Before uh, they uh, do manage to break through, I need to... Yeah, obviously. Like, that uh, does not really come as a surprise. What would be lucky though is if this holds so if they don't attack a there which could happen and that holds too they don't seem to have that many forces they might still attack there but Hmm. Okay. Also beating me out of Mojaisk with a serious force. Seems like they have very large numbers in front of Moscow now. To that end, it might be prudent to hold back a little bit and try to stand firm on, you know, clearing these packets first and leaving it at that for a while. That sense, these might be the la might be the last the death throes of uh, <laughs> the German army here. Uh. Well, we'll see. I, I, I'm trying to take every little advantage I can get. And as I said, the um, most realistic potential victory is. Making sure that the Soviets don't reach my high watermark by December 1944, and also keeping the Allies out of Germany by that point. I don't know how um, quickly the Soviets would be to get the same high watermark as I do. Uh, you would you would actually think that um, it might be easier for the Soviets to get to that high watermark. Um, I think but I'm really not sure at the same time doing something like um, capturing Leningrad would make it significantly harder for them to reach my high water mark because they need to take it back yeah that's the black screen uh, because they would need to take it back and uh, that would probably be very difficult interesting that the Soviets put so much emphasis on getting around Grosdeutsch and I guess they didn't feel like attacking it straight away If I can get to Bologu, that cuts off an entire rail line towards uh, the Leningrad area. So 
uh, that would be quite beneficial. They would have to work everything on two single rail lines, which probably delays them significantly in whatever kind of offensive they might try to launch. Still, our situation is significantly better than uh, how the Germans did historically, so I guess in that sense, as long as we keep that up, I think we, we should be fine. There we go. I wonder what held and what did not. Riazan is a far, far away here. Oop. All right. Seems like this held. However way that's possible. Uh, which means that at, at worst we can say that the immediate threat to Rishev is gone. Uh, and to Felikiduki as well. The um, fact that there are so many Soviets inside this pocket means that they can go almost anywhere they please and I have to be very careful to make sure that uh, they don't get any depots or any cities they already did get pushed back from this so I can at least work my way towards Torpets here Seems like they still have those three airfields as well couldn't really see whether they actually lifted something in there I already forgot At least I can also take back Tsaritsa, but sadly they did kick me out of Mozhaisk again. With some serious losses too, but I was just binding for time there. 673 points. I have the 304th Infantry Division. 304th Static Division was from the Garrison Division, November 1940. Got some regiments in October 1942. The division was converted to a field division and sent to Russia in April 33. After fighting in the Don River base, the division was rebuilt. The 574th Grenadier Regiment was disbanded in October 1943. The division was heavily engaged in summer 1944 and suffered serious losses. In January 1945, the division was destroyed at the mouth of the Vistula River but was reformed in Prague in late February 1945. The division was taken prisoner by the Soviets near Deutsch Brot at the end of the war. Retreat from Cyrenaica. The Axis retreat from Cyrenaica. The Allies take control of it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it's just. Garrison Shortage in the Western Theater. Or in Western Europe, which is weird. I thought I had 100%. Uh, I guess it may be error related. Soviet partisans. <laughs> With German forces approaching the capital, Stalin orders the evacuation of the Communist Party again. The general staff and various civil governments, government officers from Moscow to Kubyshev, leaving only a limited number of officials behind. The evacuation causes panic amongst Muscovites. Much of the civilian population tries to flee, mobbing the available trains and jamming the roads from the city. Despite all this, Stalin publicly remains in the Soviet capital, somewhat calming the Furman. <laughs> The fear and pandemonium. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, hmm. Yeah. Poop. But I gotta retreat from this area any which way. Seems like they 
They're also going in there, and this needs to retreat, so... I'm afraid that my actions in that area will be over. They're also slowly moving towards that area. Um, at the very least, I can now liquidate both of those, which is good. This is going to turn out to become very interesting, as the Soviets are now prying this open and moving in here. Um, But at the same time, I'm also now pushing towards this area. This is still encircled. Wow. Yeah, it's... It suffices to say that it's very likely the Soviets actually have troops there. Same as they're pushing on Likoslavl. I can see myself having to abandon it. And this will be thinly held. Hmm. If they allow me to take this too, that's generally... I'll take anything I can get, obviously, here. They are getting weaker. They uh, were over 70, so they're, they're not doing super well, at least in Colpino. They're, they're getting weaker over time. All right. Um, that's kind of it for now. Uh, if, if we take a look at Soviet numbers, 5.672. Actually, let's just go here. Victory points, we went down again by one. Initiative, still mine. High watermark, 674. Total men for us, it's stagnant. Soviet's slightly going down. Not that much, but at least it's not going up. Total guns going down slowly, AOVs stagnant. Manpower loss for the Soviets last turn, 180,000 troops, so significantly more than the turns before that, now that we've gotten these pockets. Of course, same for gun and AFV losses. Soviets can build a lot of those. Fuel store still empty. Hmm. Well think you can uh, guess how things are, are going right now. That's problematic too. I don't even have 40,000 men in this particular area against over 100,000 troops in, in that location. Mm, the AI seems to be a lot more apt here too at... Uh, holding certain areas, which is nice. There's technically no reason for the AI to lose any of these positions, obviously. So. I'll, uh... Ah, really? All right, all right. Might, like, slice through here if I can do that. I'm just, this is just such a... such a struggle. But... I, I like it. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed this campaign, I have to say. I'm, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I um, hope you enjoyed it as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.